Hello, welcome yourselves back to the channel. This week I'm taking a look at Vito's Tech MCT Blackout. Now this is, although it's a new bag to me, it's not new out in the field. It's been out for about 12 months now, I think. And it's an update of the original MCT, the, the one with the kind of fiber cloth handle type thing that was flappy about. This one's rigid, uh, folds flat backwards, fold, folds flat forwards, um, makes for easy storage, I guess. Uh, there's, there are some updates on this compared to the original. On first impressions, you could say that it looks like a bit of a scaled down, smaller version of the Tech Pack Blackout. Uh, the bag that came out about three years ago, you know, with the shoulder straps. Um, well, I guess you'd be kind of right as well, but obviously it's missing the shoulder straps here. Uh, one thing I do like about this one, although it feels feels nice and compact and stuff in your hand, is the, how wide the base is there. You can see it kind of chamfers up towards the top, so there's no danger of it. Uh, you know, throwing all your tools in there, loading it out. There's no danger of it could be coming too hot, top heavy or anything like that. Some other bits to show you are these panels as well that flip in. So we've got the, this is the tablet panel, this is the storage panel here. Inside we've got a meter panel and a tool panel. We'll have a look at those in a sec. Uh, I think we're calling this the front and this the back. I think that's how it works with this. Um, so yeah, obviously you've got all the writing on the front saying what it is, VitoTech, MCT, blackout and stuff. So we'll call this the front, drag the camera in and see what's inside. So a little look at the front, we've got two D rings there, you can see just hanging down, perfect for clipping things on your keys, or whatever. There's also two little zip pockets here, I think they're, just get that measuring stick out, they're measuring about three inches, maybe three and a bit inches deep, and about the same wide. Just spin it around a sec, we've got the usual pockets on the side there, you can see, and it's good for pens, pencils, and I don't know, what torches I guess. We've got, also got the uh, insulation tape holder or PTFE tape holder or what have you. Got another pocket top here on the back. That's, I think it's a, again similar size. It is the similar size. Yeah. And you've also got this Velcro one which is um, again similar size. They've just gone with the Velcro option. And in there if you just see, drop that down a second, you just, just see in there you've got another little pouch in there like a separate one and you've also got your there's three rings in there where you can put your again little pens or whatever things of that size you know drill bits and stuff and just keep them tucked in there out of the way i guess these keep these pockets up here be good for the keys or such things or charged cables and stuff you've also got the two d rings as well there so you've got you've got two on the front two on the on the back here and you've got two on the side here for well, obviously you can clip anything you like on there but i think that's for the the carry strap itself so look on this side we've got two just the two pockets on this side two little size pockets whatever uh i don't know whatever you want to throw in there chisels and stuff like i said torches knives and stuff this is for your tape measure although not my tape measure we won't clip on there but uh yeah that's for a tape measure and they Usually so very strong and robust and quite synonymous, synonymous with the all Vito products now. Come back round to the front and we'll get the bag open. Okay, so we've got the, the usual palaver going on in here. You've got the five year zero downtime warranty with some stickers and stuff in there. Uh, give us a piece of your mind. It's asking us to uh, help us help them build, 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 build the products and uh, some suggestions. So Vito, if you're listening, I've been on about a Vito Pro Pack lunch box, lunch bag for a while now, five years or so. So one of those would be good. You can imagine how robust that would be. Anywho, let's have a look at this one. So we've got some very strong, that tough material in this pocket here. This is, the, I think this is the tool panel. This is that tough material. It doesn't, it doesn't flex like the neoprene ones up here, but trust me, having had Vito's for years now, it does give and it will merge and kind of flow with whatever tools you shove in there we've got another neoprene one up here um just one on its own you've got four there you've got two d-rings there again some more d-rings for clipping things on and if we just tilt the bag forward you'll see how deep that is and we've got we've got the usual gel stuff in there but just tip the bag forward there you can see there's a bit of room you know you know if you don't load that out you have got a little bit of room in there on the front cover, the front door, the front hinge, the front panel, whatever. Uh, I think what's different with this one compared to the original MCT, uh, we can utilize this as pockets now. So we've got the zip ones here. This is the clear one that it comes with. 
And it's like a clear mesh type material. It's plastic. It does give a little bit. It does flex a little bit. You can see there. I've I've had these these packed out on my other bags, and they do they do bulge a bit, and they will give. Nice touch to see the magnet staying on there as well, because I I do like to keep, to keep the magnet there, and I do utilise it. Another zip here. Again, you can see how deep it is. Put my entire hand. Well, you can see how deep it is without me looking. Six or seven, seven inches ish, and about eight inches wide. This comes with the little strap. Again, we've seen this before in some bags, and that that makes it a bit of a bit of a bench, bit of a kind of a, a rest for things like you can put your tools on there and work away and stuff, or just use it for whatever you want. Maybe put a, an iPad or a tablet on there. It probably will hold it. Nice touch. Keep the strap in there, tucked up out of the way. Um, quick spin round the back and have a look what's going on in there. In the back, we've got, oh, right, we've got, yeah, so there's the, the strap that goes with the bag that we spoke about before. So again, we've got this pretty much mirror image on the back door here, on the back, uh, the back pocket, back panel. So we've got the same size again here, same size plastic. I think it's an absolute replica. The only thing missing is the magnet. They've only got the one magnet with this side. So yeah, none on this side, one on the other. Now I think this is the meter, the meter panel they're talking about. So up the top here, we've got quite a, a wide stretchy neoprene pocket. Uh, put in there, whatever you want. And then down here for the stretch forward here, we've got another one of these. So we've got two wide neoprene pockets here. You can see they're gonna give a little bit. So that's good for like, you know, getting you stretching your meters in there and it'll hold it in nice and firm. And obviously it's going to provide a bit of protection as well. This one as well. And we've gone back to some tough pockets here and they've got the four at the back. And we've also got three little rings here, two little ones and one quite wide one there. And if, you, if I look to show you down there, you can see you can pack that out and still have, as, you, as before on the front, you've still got a little bit of room there, a bit of wiggle room. Next up, we will spin it round and have a look at some of these panels. Now switching these panels in and out is a simple enough task. It's just a case of pull the Velcro up there, pull one of these D-rings, get a corner off, shove your hand in and give it, give it a yank and that's it basically out. Obviously we have got the, the famous Vito Velcro going on there, which is really strong and tough, but uh, yeah, it's simple enough to pop out. If I just tilt it forward, you can see, uh, just on the base there, it's not actually going back to the base of the um, the bag. It doesn't actually go all the way down to the base there. They've actually left a bit of cloth in there, which I think is a nice a nice thought, a nice uh, tip, because, uh, you know, I don't know, it's just going to protect things that you throw in there a bit better, I guess. We'll throw this one in. And this is the tablet panel um, or the iPad panel, whatever. I think it's called the actual, actually called the tablet panel. So it's obviously going to be built for things like iPads and stuff, very small laptops, I guess. Shove in there. You've got um, another space there. We could put something, maybe some paperwork that you're dealing with or that you bring in somewhere. I'm not sure what else you're going to fit in here. Pencil and stuff. On the side there, if you want, you can shovel your CDs in there. Just giving you a, a guide as to how big and wide these pockets are. And you can see as well, that's kind of packed out a bit. And obviously you could throw books and leaflets and stuff in there, maybe a notepad, whatever. But there's still a bit of room in there to give, isn't there? You can see down there at the bottom, there's still some room in there. You could throw all that stuff in there and still probably fit a small laptop in there or something, and maybe a charger or all of it. And you've also got these pockets to throw stuff in as well. Okay, I'll spin it round and we'll have a look at the storage panel. So we're back on the back of the bag now and this is the meter panel that comes with this bag. And we pull this off. Similar to the front like that, just put your hand in, pull the corner and pull down, it comes off. Easy enough. Again, tilt forward and you can see they've got, you've got that cloth lining on the base as well, which is a, like I said before, quite a nice touch. So, 
this is the bulk storage panel or the, the storage panel in general and that, that should just I just uh, get it in there flip it in push it to the back velcro it in nice and tight so it's just basically offering it's like an empty compartment and that's you know you can see that's just going to be for like throwing your drills in and stuff you'll get a easily get a battery in there probably a charger as well and get your drill bits and whatever in there clearly visible see what drill bits you've got shove them in there good to go so that's the bulk storage side of things and now we've demonstrated these two panels for you what i'll do i'll fling them out put the originals back in load it out with some tools and see how it looks there we are all loaded out and doesn't it look fat in these pants chunky or what it's still got that kind of tapering off to the top and like i say the base is quite solid and steady there spin it back around again just open the front up drop the zip down there you can see why it's just stuck on the side there but just throwing some generic tools in uh not really a proper loadout as such it's just to just to demonstrate where things would go so in there i've not really utilized that front pocket as such i've got the uh, unilite headlamp in the head torch in the front uh clear pocket screwdrivers at the front there you can see what they are there some cutters croppers uh little klein some rum there we've also got some the back of screwdrivers nice and thing i always, I always prefer these because they're nice and thin they don't take much too much space you know they're not like as wide and chunky as the as the klein or anything like that so can, don't take up too much space uh we have got the klein in there the arm egg and everything they all fit nice and snug and tight up there uh so drop the front round and speaking of the front let's just have a quick look oh, yeah there you go utilize them as a charge cord for the unilite torch which is clipped to the side on one of the utilizing one of the big d-rings here not much in there i don't think i managed to throw anything in there like it's just a demonstration on the side we've got the throw in the little milwaukee knife then as we always the ck ck scissors there this side what have we got drill bits pop them in there perfect place for them if this side you've seen we've got the torch hanging off tape on the tape loop so we've got the uh, this is the meter panel uh, obviously I'm not, I'm not really got a meter in here but just demonstrating what does fit in here you've got these uh, voltage indicators here again we've got the big bigger hoops at the back there so it will fit in your bigger stuff i'm just throwing a hammer in there and some, some pliers and stuff and obviously the uh two volt tin snips got the backhoe combi set there with the uh yeah it's quite it's quite heavy i mean i'm not concentrating too much on weight or anything at the moment i'm just loading it out to demonstrate the pockets uh this pocket here is obviously you can see we've got some wagos in here some vagos vigos whatever they're called wogos uh perfect place for the wagos i think because uh you get them in there and obviously they're not really going to fall out. obviously you're going to zip it up but, but they're not really going to fall out anyway and you can clearly see how many you've got what you've got open it up easy access good to go there we go guys that's the bag all loaded out shout out to epic air for sending this bag up for me to review for you guys and as always i will leave a link in the description to this video we can go and find this on their website and all the panels that go inside it and stuff and many other veto products also leave me a, some comments down below let me know are you get thinking of getting this bag or have you got the original one for instance uh maybe you're thinking of upgrading uh what panels you've got what trade you're doing thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye now